Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the last couple of months, I've been keeping you updated regarding the Google Chrome user interface refresh for 2023. And as we've been looking um, in some previous videos, we are getting more rounded corners and more material you changes that will be coming to Google Chrome throughout the course of 2023. And to some extent, one or two of these little adjustments and tweaks have already made their way into the stable version. Now, at first, if you want more content regarding the Chrome Refresh 2023, just do a search on the channel. Um, I've posted a lot of content previously, which will um, keep you updated and in the loop. Now, just to let you know um, that it seems now that the Chrome Refresh for 2023 as a whole is getting one step closer to becoming a feature in the stable version. Because I've noticed earlier today in Google Chrome Canary, version 115, which is the latest preview version, that they have now moved the experimental flag and have now placed it as a featured experiment in the actual uh, experiments that's part of the uh, toolbar uh, in the Chrome Canary version, the preview version of the browser. And um, the experiments can be accessed uh, in Chrome Canary by this little beaker, science beaker. And yeah, you'll see Chrome Refresh 2023, which is now a new featured experiment. Now, the experimental flag itself has been available in Chrome Canary, as I have posted previously for quite some time. But um, because this has now um, become part of the featured, featured experiments, um, it does indicate that this is getting one step closer now to a public release or rolling out to the stable version, as I would call it. Now, um, yeah, we have the flag. So you can have default enabled. You can have enabled without Omnibox, and you can obviously disable uh, the feature. And what this um, uh, flag will actually bring to the browser, just a quick recap for the purpose of today's video, is uh, new updated navigation icons. Um, updated and visually redesigned toolbar icons. And I have posted on all of these previously. As another example, if we head to the menu, we get a different layout with um, a reordering of some of the actual um, um, menu items. Uh, we get these little icons next to each entry, which are not available in the stable version. We get some other um, features available uh, in the menu, like Google Password Manager, Translate, um, there's been a reordering of some of the components as mentioned. And that's just a brief overview. We get uh, more rounded corners on some of the menus, extra padding and layering between the actual menu entries and so on. Now, as an example, if I head back and I actually put it back to default and relaunch the browser to apply now that um, flag, you will see now as an example that some of those um, visual um, improvements and visual redesign changes have been removed. So as an example, if I head back to the main menu, you can see that it takes on the layout of what it currently looks like to some extent in the stable version and the same applies to the right click context menu. So um, yeah, we can see that this um, Chrome refresh for 2023, the flag does bring some visual changes and visual redesign enhancements uh, to the actual um, browser. But nonetheless, um, just do a search for Chrome Refresh 2023 if you want some more info. But as mentioned, the fact that it's now part of the featured experiments is a good indication that the flag and the actual feature as a whole is getting closer to becoming a feature in the stable version. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.